Well, we are thrilled to be joined now by the newest head coach of the Liberty men's basketball team, Richie McKay. Coach, thanks so much for making time for us. Uh, fellas, the pleasure's mine. I know it's been a busy time for you, a hectic time, I'm sure, for you and your family. Talk us through a little bit about how this came to be. Of course, you were here a number of years ago, went to Virginia for six seasons. How did it all come about that you ended up back here at Liberty? Well, first of all, I'm just glad to be in you guys' presence. I've seen game on before, so hey. this is like, <laughs> you're I'm, too I'm at the big yeah. time. You're too kind. Uh, but the, the process was, you know, Coach Lair is a friend of mine, and yeah. uh, I love him to death. I think he's a great mentor and uh, just a godly man. So I've rooted for Liberty for the six years that I've been away from the university, and uh, I've seen it grow immensely. My daughter's a, a sophomore yeah. here, so uh, I, I've, I had a familiarity with the Flames when uh, when I left because of some of the guys we recruited, and that continued up until, well, the end of the season. And when Jeff Barber called and asked if uh, if I had an interest, I, I, uh, I said absolutely, and, and we started the process. Well, you were here for two seasons, had great success Thank during you. your time at Liberty. For people that don't know your coaching style, what does a Coach McKay coach team do? Well, uh, can you shoot the three? <laughs> this man, my elder feels like over. leather, he's going to shoot. I can, I can yeah. drive to the rack, yeah. though. Yeah. I, I guess I should tough. say, can you make the three? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I think uh, in the past, uh, our teams have been probably known by the, the way we play offense. And uh, that's been the blessing and the privilege of being with Tony Bennett. There's not a better defensive coach. There might be some as good, but not a better defensive coach in the country than Tony Bennett. And what he's done at Virginia and Washington State, I think, are a testament to that. So I, I think we're better equipped. I like to say I got a Ph.D. in defense. <laughs> so uh, I hope the identity of our group will be that we're complete, that we're solid and strong on the defensive end, but also that we, we have a fun system to play in, one that's unselfish and spread you out and uh, we kind of take advantage of mismatches and hopefully that'll be enough to, to have great success. Let me ask you though, you all like to push the pace, you all like to play an up-tempo style? Yeah, I, I like the run as long as we don't turn it over. Right. So yeah. I, I think the players will dictate whether or not we, uh, how fast we play. People have said this is a, a unique place to recruit to. It's a unique school in general. Liberty yeah. is a different place than most any other school around the country. What are the challenges, or how do you recruit high-level athletes to Liberty? You've had the experience of doing it here before. Yeah, great question. We, uh, you know, for, for me, it's the mission that makes it special. Yeah. It makes it unique, and uh, it's why I wanted to come back. I don't think there's a, a finer place in the world, uh, to the university in the world, to have a chance to coach and, and do life and, and uh, mentor, shepherd, student athletes. So I think my authenticity in the, in the home is going to be uh, something that I can really speak to. Uh, because to come back means that I really had to believe in it. And uh, we, we had some decent success. I think our class was top 50 or whatever yeah, when yeah. we were here. And we were blessed by that. And that's really the hard work of our assistants. But I, I think we'll, we'll, we've been decent at evaluating talent. And hopefully once we, we get that talent in the Liberty, we can, we can grow it and uh, develop them. And hopefully from there you'll see a, a winning basketball team. Is your first recruiting job the guys that are already on campus and how do you go about kind of winning them over? Yeah, I, I, hopefully that, that, I think for me, the, the, the first and foremost thing is to build relationships with yeah. those guys. And, uh, and they have to be sincere. They're not going to come in a day. Those guys need to know that I, I want to coach them, that they're a part of the family and that even though I inherited them, they're still us. We're still yeah. Liberty. We're still part of that athletic department and part of the men's basketball program. And uh, I've met with them a couple times already, and uh, I'm excited about them. We, we have really good kids in our program, and I have a familiarity from watching the game. So um, I'm, I'm hoping quickly we can, we can develop those relationships. You mentioned building relationships. You've been here before, so you know how things are done yeah. in Liberty. But when you come back to a place, you always have to get reacclimated. What may be some of the other top priorities <laughs> Uh, on your list when yeah. you get started. Clement, I gotta, I gotta find where to go on campus. <laughs> it's so different now. I mean, they got buildings erected where uh, it was just grass and lawn, and uh, so I'll, I'll get my uh, GPS out on my phone when I'm walking around campus. But I, I think for, for me, more importantly, is I, I wanna connect with the student body. I wanna connect with the, the, uh, the, the Liberty campus. And I, I think we have such great coaches and great leadership in our, in our program, and that's not uh, coach speak or lip service. I mean, when you look at the championships that some coaches have, uh, have achieved and attained at, at this level. I, I just want to be a part of that, something, a part of something bigger than ourselves. Have you thought about that? When you walk back into the Vine Center, first yeah. game back, you didn't know if you'd ever be in that position no, again. Right. Have you thought of what that's going to be like walking on that court again like I, that? I haven't yet because I haven't seen the schedule, so <laughs> I'm sure the, the thing that will get my attention is who we're playing, but I, I'm, I'm excited. That venue has changed. I actually came to see Shane Pender uh, last volleyball season when they played Virginia, and uh, I, was, I marveled at how different it looks in there. And, uh, 
uh, I hope you guys get to keep your front row seat. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and maybe if you want to move down and help me coach during the game, you're more than welcome to. You don't need our nah, help. Right. Yeah, that <laughs> wouldn't help at all. Yeah, but coach. I'm excited to be back in the vine. Well, we're all excited to have you. We can't Thank wait you. for that first game in 2015. Thanks for taking a few moments to be with us. A pleasure of mine. Thanks Good luck guys. to you, Appreciate Coach. It.